Marion's really went great today. Uh, she was pretty good in the truck on the way down. We managed to do a lot of um, measurements and photos at Jacksonville Zoo before leaving, so we didn't have to do that here. So she was able to go right into the water today. She was pretty nice, no splashing or anything. Um, we have a lot of manatees that like to give a very splashy farewell before they go out. So she was nice. She immediately started taking off back up the river. So hopefully she's meeting up with a group of manatees um, not too far from here. So we were headed on our boat into um, Salt Springs and we were going to the area where you could go faster on the boat um, and she was way over by the edge and um, my husband said there's a, a manatee and I was like is that a manatee? I was like why is it why is it up out of the water like that? So we, we kind of turned around and came back to check it out. Um, some GI issues. So when she first came in, we um, we do a tubing process to get her some fluids in her and help regulate things a little bit. So and after that, she um, was back to her old self and was pretty healthy afterwards. The Manatee Program is the largest conservation initiative here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. And the rescue, rehabilitation, and release, just like Marion, is only possible with a network of partners, including the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and a whole bunch of zoos and aquariums around the United States. Every time you visit the zoo and every membership you purchase helps support conservation programs like the rescue and rehabilitation of manatees. And so next time you visit the zoo, I encourage you to come to our Wild Florida Loop and visit our Manatee Critical Care Center to see the work that you've directly contributed to.